Hello and welcome to this video on drawing virtual image ray diagrams. I just had um, a little request just to cover this in a little bit more detail to help you for next week in your exam. Um, now with uh, virtual image ray diagrams, um, this is when you have to draw an image that you would see in a mirror. And normally the ray diagrams that you'll have to do on your exam are in relation to reflection off of a mirror. So you've got the incident ray going in, the reflected ray coming out and you're just applying your understanding that the angle of incidence is the same as the angle of reflection. But there is one more um, complicated kind of diagram that you have to do and that's actually when you need to draw the virtual image that you would see behind the mirror, this side of the mirror. That's why they have these diagonal lines on just to show you which side is behind the mirror and which side is in front of the mirror. So let's look at an example. Here we've got an arrow and we've got an eye here and this is our mirror. So in this kind of ray diagram, if we were to ask to complete this ray diagram, the question might be something like this. It might be complete the diagram to show the virtual image behind the mirror or formed in the mirror. And we need to remember that with these um, images that are formed in the mirror that they are virtual, they're not a real image, okay, they're behind the mirror. Um, they are upright. They are the same size as the object. And they are laterally inverted. That means the left and right have swapped around. Now, because this bit is actually quite difficult to draw when the left and right are swapped around, they tend to give you some quite easy diagrams like this arrow here where you don't have to worry about the left and right because they are symmetrical. So in this diagram then, if we were asked to complete this, the first thing that you need to do is draw the same size arrow the same distance away from the mirror behind it. So approximately about here you would need to draw your arrow. So that's the first thing that you need to make sure that you do is that this is the same distance as this over here. So that's number one priority is draw the image behind the mirror and it's got to be the same distance and the same size. So same distance from the mirror and the same size. Okay, so that's job one done. And now what we need to do is we need to complete the ray diagram. And to do this, you should put a ruler between the virtual image behind the mirror and your eye. And you should draw a straight line from your top of your eye to the top of the arrow and from your bottom of the eye to the top of the arrow. But the important thing is, is that the lines behind the mirror, they have to be dotted. Okay, so you can do this more easily with your ruler um, and just making sure that this is solid and this is dotted. I'm just going to delete bits here to show you. Um, but this virtual line behind the mirror has to be a dotted line. This is really, really important. These have got to be dotted and these have got to be solid because these here are virtual lines. There's not actually where the light crosses. The light doesn't go behind the mirror. It's a virtual image. So that's one part of it. And the second part of it, you need to then draw the reflection part of the diagram to complete the ray diagram. So we've got this side of the mirror and all you need to do now is complete your diagrams to the top of the arrow on both where the lines meet here and the top of the arrow over here. Now these will automatically, um, if you draw it correctly, have um, angles of instance and reflection that are equal. And the final, final thing is, is to draw our arrows on to show the direction of light. So the light, remember, goes into your eye. The light does not come out of your eye. So you've got the arrows on here, here, and here. That's really important. And that is our completed diagram to show how a virtual image is formed in the mirror. So number one, draw the image behind the mirror, the same distance away from the mirror. Um, number two, make sure your dotted lines are behind the mirror and you've got your solid lines in front. And then part three is just to complete the reflection part of the diagram. 
Okay, and that is your virtual image diagram. If I give you another example, um, sometimes they give you a little bit of a difficult scenario in your exam, which is I want you to watch out for. I've seen it before where they actually don't draw an eye in at all. Okay, they just say complete the virtual image diagram. Now, I find it easier to draw the eye in. So if you do get in this kind of scenario, I just draw yourself an eye to help you draw the image and then follow the instructions just as we did before. So first of all, we need to draw the image the same distance and the same size behind the mirror. And then we need to draw in our ray. So we're gonna start off with our ray from the top of the image to the top of the eye, and then from the top of the image to the bottom of the eye. And then just remember these ones have got to be dotted. So I'll just do this and cheat to make mine dotted. And then finally, we just need to complete the ray, uh, the reflection diagram on the front of the mirror. So you've got, again, this point here to the top of the image and this point here to the top of the image. And just to complete it, we need our arrows on there to show the direction that the light is traveling in. So that is our completed virtual image. Um, remembering it's upright, the same size and laterally inverted. So here's one for you to try. You might want to pause the video, see if you complete this virtual image diagram and then come back and see if you got it correct. So first things first then, you should have drawn the image the same size and the same distance from the mirror. You should have then drawn your um, lines from the top of the image at the same point to the top of the eye and the top of the image at the same point to the bottom of your eye, making sure that the lines that are virtual are dashed lines. And then you need to complete the reflection diagram the other side. So we join our line up to here and our line up to here. And we complete then with our arrows to show the direction that the light is traveling in. So you could have drawn to the center of the um, shape on both sides as well that's also fine as long as you do it to that same central point each time in my case because I'd drawn it on the left the right hand corner here I had to switch it to the left hand corner to show that it was laterally inverted but as I said before in your exam they'll probably give you a really easy image like a dot or maybe an arrow where you don't have to worry too much about the left and the right hand sides swapping around. So I hope that helped. Um, they don't come up very often in your exam, but make sure you cover them just in case they do. So thanks very much for watching. If this helped you, um, then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe.